Hey everyone, it's Marianne Maldonado, and I'm going to be using the March 2023 Hip Kit Club, and I'm going to lift myself today, and I'm going to be using this oval cut file that is part of the March release, and this is the layout we're going to be making. So I start by just showing you the photos, and I loved that there was a lot of rust colors in the photos, so it made me lean more towards the pink fresh items that are in the March kit instead of so much of the simple stories. So I dug out the folders because my original photo or my original layout had a folder like an envelope type thing. So I wanted to do the same for this. So instead of a circle, I am doing an oval and I layered down a couple of pieces of cards. And I, when I was doing the die cut, I made an oval on top of the die cut and figured out where I wanted how large I wanted my oval. That's how I got the perfect size oval for this. I am not cami, cameo savvy. I just I just did it. I don't know how to do it and I couldn't replicate it if I had to. But um, I got the right size and it ma matches behind the cut file just perfectly. So um, I added my photos and foam tape on the top one. And I loved the frames so I put one right down on top of my photo, regardless of the fact that the photo is larger than the frame, but the people weren't. So I put it right on top of the people. I did add the flower clump right directly on top of my cut file. So it did take a little bit away from the cut file, but you still see it peeking out on all sides of the flower clump. So right now I'm sticking things down because that's what I do. I go along and I stick because I don't like usually go back and change things, but I didn't like what I did to the left side of the page. But right here, I stick that sticker to my photo, ruins my photo, ruins the envelope that I had there. So I just grabbed another sticker, covered it, and moved on. So the sticker that I originally had used, I stuck over to the right because it wouldn't stick back down. So I stuck it under the oval over to the right. So you see here that I'm starting to remove everything that I had already started to put down on the left and I found another floral clump that goes right on top of the foam tape that I had previously placed there. So it worked well for me. Um, I usually, like I said, don't go back and change things, but this time I did and um, that's unusual for me, but I usually stick it and go with it. So I add a title up towards the top because around my previous layout that I'm scrap lifting there was a title all the way around the whole entire um, cut file that I used before so I was determined to get this green ticket type sticker in there and I did it and then I added another little piece of orange to, for a little bit more color that all came from the sticker book from Simple Stories I can't remember what kit that's in. It might be the main kit, but it may also be the embellishment kit. But this sticker book is full of stickers. This is also where I got my title. I added a few of the chipboard circles to bring your eye all around the page. I added a few here and there. And then um, I don't think I put them all in the, in the video. I might have cut some of them out, but I did add quite a few. And then I add the sticker here that says, oh gosh, what did it say? I can't see it because I covered it with paper. Anyway, I decide to splatter and I get out some black acrylic ink that I have and it's all over my t-shirt now because I went to wash the dish and it's splattered up and it's all over my arm, all over my t-shirt, but I'm going to pottery tonight so it doesn't matter. My shirt is going to get filthy there anyway. So I do cover the photo and I do a little bit of black splattering not very good at it, not very good at placement of it, so it just does what it wants. I just lightly tap it on my hand and kind of hope for the best, but then I decided I want some larger splatters of white, so I bring out a white acrylic paint that I have on hand, get that a little bit juicy, and then I start splattering that, and I make a few mistakes, but at the end, one of the big blobs that kind of spread out, I just added another brad to it or I actually went around and added a few brads to my page and you'll see those in the close-ups of the video so and I think actually we are already upon the close-ups of the video so I hope you enjoyed this video maybe you are tempted to layer papers layer cut files layer embellishments on cut files 
whatever, however you're inspired. Um, I'm just happy to be here with you today. So I will see you next week and um, enjoy the close-ups. Okay, have a great day.